everybody it's you for the cards here I am doing a video well video series actually but I have a little fun so until the, the ranked season starts um, I thought I have fun with building different decks right and doing videos for them um, so this one I'm gonna do a series of decks built around Camby and Skellige really like Camby really like Skellige it's like peanut butter and chocolate I was like I'm gonna do I'm gonna do both of them also um, I, I kind of like it, so I'm building different variations of a Canby deck. This one is a Canby deck built around Canby and Harold the Cripple. So I call it Canby the Cripple. And slowly you're going to see the scene start to fade in. See there? Magic. <laughs> so this revolves around discarding, um, wounding, and then hopefully winning through Harold the Cripple, Canby, and some serious control. And we're going to look at it. So the way it starts, we have Savage Bears. Savage Bears are to wound, to synergize with Harold the Cripple. Um, they're just really good in terms of just being nasty presences on the board. We have the Queen's Guard. So one thing when you're building a Canby deck, it's important that you have Resurrection because the, the, the basic theme of the deck is that you're going to send everything to the graveyard. So you want to be able to pull back from the graveyard. Uh, very important. So you have cards that do that. You have... Um, Priestesses of Freya, you have Siegfrieda, uh, and that will pull from the graveyard, which is good. But you also, sometimes you won't have those cards in place. So you need another way of pulling cards from the graveyard. So the best way to do that is Queen's Guard. Queen's Guard will allow you to play a card. They, they kind of summon themselves from the graveyard. So if you get put there through Bork or through Canby, you can bring them back. Um, <clears throat> Mad Cow or <laughs> mad cow i just made the cow angry for some reason uh mad cow is is a good card um it's one of the cards i might change i might bring that back to resurrection but i thought i had a little too much resurrection um so as so i'm looking at it you know what i'm actually going to take mad cow out and i'm going to put um blue boy lugos in for some more synergy with harold the cripple so i think that's actually pretty good so we're kind of playing this by ear. So we're going to do the Canby Chronicles. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a Canby deck with each of the leaders and then build a different Skellige synergy with Canby throughout the leaders and just make some decks out of it and have some fun with it. And uh, it's just, I, I really like Skellige. <clears throat> I really like Canby. So that's what I'm doing. All right, so that's Can Canby the Cripple. Let's see how we do. We're just going to jump right into it. Um, and... Uh, well, I didn't really get a good deck explanation, did I? Let me go back one more time. So the, the basic theme of the deck is wounding and lowering their strength to use with Harold the Cripple. And his ability got changed. So his ability now is remove three strength from all weakened opponent units and two strength from all of them. So basically, he's an old Stamilford Tremor or a really nasty board clerk and he affects gold. So he's a really good win condition. So Savage Bears will help trigger that because they'll, they'll wound his side. Um, the war longships will wound his side through discard and there's a lot of draw and discard in this deck you've got one two three four five cards that discard which will trigger the warships but you don't have a lot of draw discards so you don't need a lot of war longships but they are they can be winning situations um as i'm going through it i might i like using uldric on his side, especially in a Canby turn or a Bork turn, because they're going to be destroyed anyway, generally. Um, but I might, instead of that, I may just do the Last Wish instead of Uldric. I'm kind of playing this, as you see, by ear. Two Dying Lights are really good because they will allow me to... Um, I think I need more draw. I really like this card for card advantage. Same with this card, but it's so random what you might get. I think I just need to I'm going to take this card out and put in Last Wish. And try that out for more draw. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So let's see how that works. So we're going to tweak this as we play it. Here we go. We're going to try it out and see what happens. Played it a little bit last night. Did really well. Um... So we're going to see if we can continue that today. I have a new setup, as you can tell. I have my microphone. I have uh, kind of a green screen effect going. 
so we're we're setting up for our um our launch just so you know uh, my my initial strategy was to do full-time streaming starting in january probably gonna move that up to next week and we're working towards that so we got a hail the cripple versus hail the cripple mirror match i don't know maybe he'll use can be as well we'll see Don't need two of him. It's always your first mulligan. It's Clan Dunham Pirate. You don't need two. That's a good combo right there. I'm sure he'll use similar tactics. Um. Hmm. That's better. Let's see what we can do with this. We didn't really get Camby. We have no real way to clear out the Lord of Unvik yet. Nothing like some overseas plunder okay. and sprite. Let's see if we can pull out his um, lacerates removal. Usually if he's running Hail the Cripple, he's using some serious removal. We'll see. I might put, I think I kept the, did I keep the decoy? Yeah, I think I took out, yeah. We we'll like to decoy the decoy back blue boy Lugos and really do some serious blue boy Lugos. Real meta. Come on, quick now. Okay, so that's interesting. Would not have expected You're good. a, um, shieldsmith in a wounded deck. So we'll see here what happens. I will prove my worth. Okay. He's going in pretty good here. Hey, what's up, Lily? What's going on, buddy? Long time no talk. Just sounds in here. I don't know how much I want to commit to winning this round. Let's we'll see what he does here. So we're going to play um, the Clan Dunham Pirate here and do some serious damage to his side of the board. Right now, if I were to hail the Cripple, I could win this round. I am almost convinced he's going to go ahead and clear that boat out, right? Alright, so he didn't. If I play this card, I win the round. Also, I that. On you what do you think? There we go. And we'll just take that win. Round one. Now we're in a good position for round two and three. If we can draw... Oh, dude, nice, man. PS4. Now we're hoping to draw Canby. Ah, yes, the dream is real. So we could probably steal this one. Oh, how do we play this? I think we slow play it. I think we slow play it. Let's see. Is here. Uldrich. Okay, very good. Um, let's see. Let's resurrect something. Bow before modern Freya. Let's resurrect one of these. <laughs> Let's see. Well, um, I don't necessarily want to. Uh, can be what he does. He spawns. Uh, Hemdal, and what it does is it basically destroys their side of the board and your side of the board. But since you're Skellige, you can bring them back. Is is the uh, I don't want to use the discard here yet. So we'll just do this. Pansy. He's got a significant card advantage, and I'm kind of thinking about just letting him get over 28. It shouldn't be too difficult for him. And just winning round three. I'm kind of thinking about doing that because I've got a good setup for round three. I've got one resurrector. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let him do some cards. Let's 
You're good. Real good. He had way too many cards, so thinning his deck out will help. Modron Freyr is patient, but she brooks no insult. And now he's gonna only have card advantage going in around three. So what? Should I pound it into a portal? And we have Camby. I think that was definitely the right play. Which would have saved my uh, Priestess of Freya. So we have Canby, we have Lord of Unvig. That's the that's the combo you're looking for. That's not bad. Let's see what he plays here. Modern Freyr is patient. I want him to. That's really good, no actually. Insult. I want him to use all that You're here. Good. Real good. Um, <clears throat> I'm not gonna let on that I have Canby quite yet, so I'm just gonna play Blue Boy Come Lugo. On, let's go. Time to face our fears. Yeah, man, I'm doing a Canby Chronicle stream. Kind of where I'm thinking about doing right now. He only has four card, well, three cards left. One's a wound, which doesn't really concern me too much. As can be. Um, let me keep on playing cards here and not let him know what I have. Try to spring can be on him at the last second. That's not gonna help really. We'll bring a long ship. Let's see what that brings to the table here. That, that that blue boy that, that whale is just setting up my we serve my herald her real well good so now he's used two Let's resurrectors now we can play candy and really destroy his side of the board I don't think he knows what to do here he's uh yeah, he can, he's really in trouble. Thank you for refreshing my whale. Now the combo piece with Camby is Hjalmar. Because when Camby destroys the side, what's going to happen is um, it's going to pump Hjalmar up to a 20. That was good. So we're going to draw some cards here. It's going to be really close. Um, oh, I've been so good to use here. So we're going to get rid of this one and this one to give maximum value. Now you see Camby. They're all really hurt there, obviously. We gotta get 16 points. So let's see what we can do here. We just need 10, what really, because we're going to knock 6 off of them here. So, quit. I get a chance to show you all the combos, but there you go. I don't give good games to quitters, so we'll just stop it there. There we go. Uh, there you go. So that's basically what the deck does. So it's... Um, you, you have some wound mechanics, you have, yeah, Emdal Destruction, you have, um, I also have Bork 3 Jackdaws. Basically, I'm, I'm clearing the board constantly and bringing them back to the resurrection. Another, another one, here we go. Thank you, I appreciate it. You. Let's see if we can get the screen coming back down now. So focus on the game. Well, there's my, well, there we go. There's, I mean, that's like massive destruction on a, on a level that's unheard of. Um. Wow, we got everything. Uh, let's see. That's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot of everything good. I mean, there's a chance I can play four through Jack Dawes round one, and he'll just quit. Round one. I think I'm going to. Mm -mm. There we go. That's good. So 
let's see what he plays here. This is, um, yeah, I can make another monster with a deck if you want. Um, right now, this today, I'm just gonna do some Canby Chronicles. But then, yeah, definitely. I think I'm gonna let him get pretty, let him buff that thing up, and then I'm just gonna uh, smash him down with Bort. I think I'm gonna let him try to develop a Bort here. This is a very, <coughs> yeah, the boat discard deck is really good. It really is. Um, I think I'm just gonna let him develop a board and then board it. I think this is the boat discard deck. What is it? So it's a removal deck. Wow. We're gonna stall here. We've no time to lose. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Well, what to discard is the question. I guess the bear. I guess the bear in this case. If I hit Bork here, wouldn't we help? Right now I'm just going for card advantage, and um, three, six, ten. He's in a rough position right here, is what to do, because I have card advantage, I have board clears, I have draw, I have resurrection. Alright, eh? uh, he's setting up for he's setting up for his next turn. That was a good play. If I passed here. I'd have three three card advantage. But I mean I think he's done. I don't think he's gonna play another card. Hmm. I don't know what to do here. That's two and three win right there. Um If I did that, he would get rid of these three, six, nine, and he'd be down to just that. I don't think I'll have a. I don't think I'll have a better Harold the Cripple play. I'm about to say, why is it? Why is he hanging around? <laughs> I don't think I would have. I think that's about as good a Harold the Cripple play as I could get. Because I'm setting up to win round two and three with these two cards. <laughs> So I am loving the fact that he's exhausting his supplies. I think I can bait him into one more. I swear on my honor. Ooh, clear skies. Um, in this case, I don't need random. I'm going to play one more card, and then I'm going to pass. There we go. That's what I was looking for. That's what I'm looking for. He has exhausted his cards. So, I have a three card advantage going into round two and three with Bork and Canby. I don't have uh, a, a Canby trigger yet, but I can draw one. Oh, nice. Yeah, there's the Bork. Okay, so there we go. So now we have everything. I think we're just gonna slap down um, Bork right out the start. Playing two shark. Or you know what? No, I'm not going to. I am going to let him develop and play one of his resurrectors now. Because he's trying to bring back. Alright, awesome. I'm gonna play Bork right now, which will make him pass. Here's a here's a pass. Okay. Or not. I guess. Alright. Don't know that I understand what he's doing, but I'm not gonna question it. 
Sorry. Hello? Yes. Okay. Alright, I'm, I'm streaming right now. Yeah. Alright. Okay, alright. Um... I don't think I need him right now. I think I'd rather have Donner and play him next turn and let Bork scorch him. Or he's just going to end his turn. Well, I'm not going to let him in turn that way. I'm going to give him 9. Continue the card advantage theme. Bork will take care of that for me. Bork will take care of that for me. And there we go. All right. So a huge card advantage. We have the combo wombo with Canby in round three. It's going exactly as we had uh, wanted it to. And it's going well. We wanted to win with Bork round two. Round three, we'll win with Canby. Um, but we're going to act like we don't have Canby to get him to play. Although he only has three cards. I mean, so technically there's really not much he can do. So we're just going to play a seven. Modern Frere is there patient, he goes. Resurrect him. but she brooks no insult. Canby is going to. I mean, he, the Bork was bad in round two. He has no idea. He's like, all right, man. I got, got this. Mm -mm. You don't got this. The chicken cometh. Now I play Hjalmar. To get the synergy. There he goes. Load the board up, buddy. Got it. You got this. Here, has some more points. Yalmar on crates coming. Uh. See your war crime. Nice. All those points go bye bye. I'm just gonna play a bear just to play a bear. I don't really care. The time Boom. has come. All right. Now, my Hellmar's 20. He has 12. I'm sure he has a priestess here. I would imagine, right? He's trying to figure out what the hell just happened. Down for Tremor. Very nice. Um, and then uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to do one of these. Show you the power of the deck. Um, we don't have any priestess in there. We're just going to bring back the Queen's Guard. And then so you see you can bring back anything. Bring back one queen guard and it brings back the rest. Pumps up some Frida. <laughs> and we can keep on going, but we're not gonna be we're not gonna bad man man uh, manner the guy. So that's the deck. That's the Can Be Can Herald the Cripple deck. You see the synergy with Herald the Cripple, round one, clearing out the board, making him play cards, exhaust his his uh, supplies, then Bork, and then Can Be. Real big board clears. I don't blame him for not. Oh, he gg me. I don't blame him for not because I kind of. I, I didn't try to bad manner him, but I want to show the end of it. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to end it here, end the video. I have to. I have a call at work. I wasn't planning on streaming today. I thank everybody to join me today. We'll be streaming regularly.